This is the case of Mercedes Smith and Marquise Brown. Mercedes Danielle Smith was born on September 11, 1998 to Martina McLean and Sean Smith in Walnut, Ohio. Mercedes, affectionately known as Sade, was so loving and caring towards her two younger sisters. She was known to be a very kind and affectionate person. On April 20th, 2017, Mercedes was found unresponsive in her dorm room. Mercedes was a freshman at Lindsay Wilson College and she majored in communication as well as being part of the track team. But Mercedes, prior to her death, was fighting a lot of demons and didn't quite know how to go about handling them or seeking the correct help. She often suffered from depression and had suicidal thoughts, thoughts that she sometimes could not control. What made things a little bit worse was that she was in a long-term relationship with Marquise Brown, who also suffered from depression and suicidal itation. Together, they had a toxic relationship that was unhealthy, although they deemed to be each other rock and confidant. In hindsight, Mercedes and Marquise had no business being together. Not because they did not love each other or they didn't make it work between each other. The simple fact is that they both suffered from the same illnesses and they could not be of benefit to each other when they're go both going through their both emotional turmoil and did not know how to handle it. Just like two alcoholics could not get each other sober, you would need outside help and intervention. Irregardless, they created a bond between each other and it was them against the world. And that's how they proceed in their relationship. When news of Mercedes' death was heard and absorbed by her family and friend, they immediately blame Marquise for her taking her life. In which he he took it very, very hard. Mercedes' family prohibited Marquise from coming to her funeral. Therefore, he was not able to tell her his last goodbyes or see her. This was devastating to Marquise, and he blamed himself as well. He said that he wished that he could have saved her, wished that she was that deep in her thinking about taking her life, and how he wanted nothing more than for her to still be here. He stated in a Facebook Live post, that Mercedes was pregnant with their first child and that he was looking forward to raising the child and giving the child every possible thing that they didn't have. But also she was embarrassed and scared to tell her parents and what they would say and how they would judge her when they found out that she was pregnant. And that was something that was also weighing heavy on her mind before she passed away. At the time of Marquis posting, no one knew where he was and he would not disclose his location to anyone that knew him. He said it doesn't matter what anyone have to say, no one would ever find him. And in the most saddest and tragic twist of fate, something like Romeo and Juliet, Marquise took his own life so that he could go on and be with Mercedes. Marquise was a very talented young man. He was a stylist and a designer and was very, very good at what he did. Marquise Brown affectionately called Mari was born on January 28, 1997 in Cincinnati, Ohio. He was 20 years old when he passed away. His family was equally as devastated as Mercedes family was when she passed. When Mercedes passed, Marquis posted on his social media page stating, Today I lost my wife. I should say I lost my life. Can't put in words how I feel. We just talked last night. Why you ain't tell me? Even though we knew we ain't have nobody, we knew we had each other. You was really a reflection of me. So although Marquis believed that him and Mercedes had formed this un- breakable bond and knew each other so well, he still didn't know her to the point that she would leave this world without telling him. And that's why I went back to state from before that this was an unhealthy relationship, not because they didn't love each other, but they bonded over depression, over suicidal itation, which is not healthy at all. Mercedes and Marquis was really confused and vulnerable and two young adults that just needed help and 
and guidance in this world that they never received. And I do believe if Mercedes live and bring a baby into the picture, it would be even more of a devastation. It's really sad because they were both equally so talented and had so much to give to the world. I really don't have that much information between the family dynamics with Marquis family and Mercedes family. But obviously the family did not know enough or did not notice some of the red flag with these two young people and know that they needed help. They needed guidance and they were on the brink of not coming back from the deep, dark, depressive place that they were in. And in Marquis' case, the worst thing that anyone could have done, and I looked through the social media posts and I saw that it was Mercedes' friends and a lot of her family blaming him for her death. And I understand when you lose a young person in such a way, you want to point a finger at someone else. But this was equally another young person as well that needed help, needed guidance, was in a deep, dark place. And I thought that his life could have been saved if so many hateful messages wasn't geared towards him. Marquise and Mercedes were two young, beautiful souls lost in this world without help or guidance. And so happened that they bonded over the worst thing, and that was depression and suicidal itation. My prayers and condolences goes out to Marquise family and Mercedes family for the loss and the devastation they have suffered from losing these two young people and not being able to catch it early enough to save their lives. May their soul rest in eternal peace. Until next time on the Meaningful Talk Crime Doc, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch up with you guys later in the comment section.